the ways. Oh, look, they're working. I'm sitting in probably the world's most unreliable car being a Range Rover. There is your electric parking brake module. Or I notice that, that this second cable here is newer than that cable. There we go. I found an old spanner there. And as I tighten this, it's putting pressure on it. Now, when I hit the brake rotor, I wanted to see if this is moving freely, which it very much is. That was loose. So on my diagnostic, my iCar soft, there's a function that I'm hoping is going to release that cable because I need slack to get it back into its hold. And an electric parking brake. I was flapping around. Ah! Spring that is going to the electric parking brake. Yeah! It says it bloody works. And hit it and press the release, uh, the parking brake. Oh, I'm so excited, I can't even speak. Let's lift the parking brake and let's watch the dash. So look here, what I've noticed is that these are hanging down. These obviously push in. So it would suggest that this has been taken off. There's another one at the top there. That there is your electric parking brake module. I'm hoping not to have to go into that. I'm hoping I can adjust it just on the uh, brake shoes, but we'll see. But it does look like there's suggestions it's been worked on before. I noticed that that this second cable here is newer than that cable. So what's that telling me? So evidently, someone's put a new caliper on it. And I'm wondering if, um, if the brakes haven't been adjusted. There's certainly a lot of meat left on the pads. Yeah, those pads are got loads of wear and the disc or rotor as you call it in the States, that's looking good. There's not a prominent lip there. So now to get into this hub, I'm going to take off the caliper, move straight forward, and let's see what we can see. I'm doing those two bolts at the back I don't have to take the whole caliper apart which is good just make sure you support your brake otherwise you end up pulling on the uh, brake cables that sits quite nicely there you can see these brakes have been changed very recently loads of loads of life left on those
Yeah, I can feel the brake shoes are catching on it. That's why I couldn't get it to come off easy. Okay, so finally got the rotor off, or the brake disc. But when I took it out, all the little springs came out. Now I don't know if that was me trying to take the disc off. They do look fairly shiny, so it would suggest that this has actually been done recently. So let's have a little bit further and see what's going on. So you can see at the back there, that's where the spring is. So at the back there, that sort of uh, long spring, that is the cable that uh, is going to the electric parking brake. So that spring at the back, just on the other side of that adjuster, I was expecting it to be kind of all bunched up so that it wouldn't move anymore. Maybe what's that? that's what the issue was, but it looks to be okay. Um, so maybe the other side isn't so clever. We need to have a look at that. Oh, the noise is coming from the actual actuator. Oh, look, they're working. Well, that looks good. That looks good, doesn't it? I wanted to see if this is moving freely, which it very much is. These look fairly new. There's a good amount of wear. You're supposed to change them when they get down to two mil. I reckon there's a good five, five mil on that. So this cable seems free. I can move it. Now I just noticed something, I'm sure, before, when I was looking in the top, this little locking lever on this shoe here, that was loose. I'm, I'm new to have a look at my video, but I'm sure that was flapping around. So then this maybe wasn't being pulled in the right, it wasn't hooking in somehow, because it should go all the way through, and then this lever locks in like that. And I just don't remember it being that way. I remember it being loose, so yeah, I need to have a look at that. Jesus, it is horrible. What a day I am having with this weather, by the way. Unbelievable. Done the other side, took it all apart, put it all back together again. Everything seemed to move, and I think the components were fairly new. But this side, something's not right. What I found is, Hard to see, but in the back here, the hard to see, but just in there, the end of where the cable should be hooked into on the brake shoe, which is here. My little see, let's flatter around, not doing anything. And the end of the cable is is all the way in here. So, in other words the cable wasn't connected to the actual brake shoe. So let's obviously get that on. Look, the actual brake itself, where it connects uh, for the end of the cable is just sitting there. So maybe that's what the problem was. And there's the end of the, just in there, that there should obviously be all the way to connect it to here. So that's encouraging. So on my diagnostic, my iCast off, there's a function that I'm hoping is gonna release that cable because I need slack to get it back into its hold. So uh, let's see if I can free it. Um, so if I go into, I think it's service, an electric parking brake. <clears throat> Land Rover obviously, doesn't matter about the software version. Turn the key to accessory, so that's good. It's a Range Rover Sports. And it's the 2005 to 2009. Here we go. Drive the parking brake to the mounting position. Drive the parking brake to the latching position. Uh, parking brake unjam procedure. Mounting position, mounting position. Should we try the mounting position? Right, so why don't we do the first one and see? Enter that. 
The following operation will drive the parking brake to the mounting position, allowing the brake cables to be connected. Perfect. Uh, this, may this may be necessary. The parking brakes operated without the cables being connected to the brakes. This can lead to condition with a not enough cable available to connect to the brakes. Well, that's exactly what. So F2. Set the ignition switch to position two. That is one, two. Press F2. Right, hang on. Oh, something's happening. Erasing the fault codes, please wait. Completed. Right, let's go and have a look at the thing. Oh, hey. Oh my goodness me. There she is, there she is, there she is, there she is. Right, connect that back on. Let's see what happens. Happy days. All right, so that shoe's got to get down into there. And this has got a latch. So I might need to take this other side of the shoe off to get that to connect over. Yeah, it's a bit of a bummer. It's going to be too difficult, I think, to work on the car. Is that working? Not been lucky. Might be. Right, hang on. That's got to go through there, hasn't it? Right, so that's got to get in there. I think this is going to be too hard to do it in situ. I'll have to take the thing off, especially when it's pouring a bloody rain. Okay, let's take it off. So it's moving okay, there's nothing wrong with that. So let's connect this up. So that goes in there. That then has to lock in like that. And that little spring retaining clip goes around the outside. And it all holds in like that. I'm tempted to actually put something on that so it doesn't come off. Maybe I'll get some thin wire and just wrap it round it. That's a good idea. I'm just going to wrap this around there. I hope it doesn't get in the way of the brakes. Shouldn't do. And that's on there. Is that going to get in the way? No, oh, should be all right. This would be incredible if this works. And it's just that this has come off. Maybe when the person was changing the shoes, then I'll be delighted. I really will. Because the parking brake, if it doesn't work, it will mean that we have an annual test in the UK and it will fail. So that's good. So that's holding that on. I can't see that coming out now. So let's get your shoes back on. I'm nearly finished and it's only finally stopped bloody raining. These springs on this side are so much better than the other side. In fact, I'm going to put that one. The other ones had like a shim and a spring and they kept falling off. Yeah, that's better. Good. The other one had to go the other way because otherwise it will catch. Right, that's all on. So there's nothing stopping me now. Oh, it's got a wear there. Look. There's nothing stopping me trying the brakes. Let's put the pliers in there, maybe. Maybe that'll do. I'll stop it from closing. Okay, I'm gonna go and uh, Check the handbrake now. Let's just make sure that that cable is definitely on. Yep, yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Right, I'm going to try the handbrake and see.
Yeah, success, success, it bloody works, it works. Oh, look at the state of me, look at the state of me. Covered in, oh, it's just been raining all day. Um, it works. You press the brake, so you pull the handbrake, the electric parking brake, the light comes on the dash, it no longer flashes, I'll show you in a sec. And then importantly to release the brake, you put your foot on the brake pedal and hit it and press the release, uh, the parking brake. Oh, I'm so excited, I can't even speak. You press the parking brake the other way and it releases and it's all fixed. All because that cable had disconnected itself. Oh, so happy. So now all the hard jobs in this car, I think, fingers crossed are done. And I can rest easy now knowing that the car in the UK is going to pass its MOT, hopefully. <laughs> Right, let's get this hub and everything back together again. Oh, so happy. And look at this, finally stops raining as well. Unbelievable. Right, let's do it. Right. Oh. <laughs> right, watch this. Put the key in. There used to be a P and it used to flash. Remember that? Let's see what happens now. <gasps> There's no more flashy P. There's no more red flashing P. Right, so um, start the car. Let's, uh, let's start the car, why not? No flashing P. Okay, now, importantly, parking brake. Right, let's lift the parking brake and let's watch the dash. Yeah! <laughs> She's parked. She's got her brakes on. <laughs> let's turn it off. Let's turn it off. Ready? Push down here. It's gone. <laughs> oh, right, that's beer o'clock. I've had enough. I'm soaking wet. I'm going to have a shower. It's fixed. It's done. I'm so happy. Um, so, if I take my foot off the park, uh, the brake, and I put the parking brake on, right, she's on. She makes no more, no more of that screechy noise. And if I push the brake to turn it off, as in the electric parking brake, it'll warn me. There it is. Press foot brake part brake switch to release so foot brake and then just push the switch down here <laughs> so good so good so good oh i'm gonna do that one more time doesn't even make a noise it's silent so look my name is groove on i uh, bought this range rover i've done three or four other episodes before where i fixed other various things the central locking with the remote control key i found a loose wire um, door central lock on the driver's side actuator being replaced, water bottles being replaced. I fixed the seat and all sorts of other things, but the important thing I had to do was fix that parking brake and I've done it. And I'm going to do a few other minor fixes on this car and, you know, if anything else comes up, obviously I'll have a go at doing that. But importantly, the whole point I do this channel is that, you know, I, I'm not a, a, a train mechanic. I just worked on a lot of things over my life and I've been fortunate enough to kind of get fairly good at stuff so um, I've managed to fix that electric parking brake on this occasion um, and it's to give you the confidence to try and have a go yourself and save some money I'm sitting in probably the world's most unreliable car being a Range Rover you've only got to look at things like Top Gear they'll tell you just how unreliable they are but on this occasion I managed to fix it so if you like this sort of thing and thank you very much if you got to the end of the video then follow me you know sub to me subscribe and hit the thumbs up it makes such a difference because then i know that these sorts of videos have been helpful and that you're enjoying them because i enjoy it only when i fix it but right now i want to go inside and get warm so appreciate you watching and see you on the next one bye for now oh, i can't believe that works so well <laughs>
Bonn.